Hey guys, welcome to day one. Today our focus is going to be to work on the back muscles and the legs muscles. Now if you have seen Virat Kohli running super fast in between those wickets and being able to hit those sixes with very ease, it's just because he has been working very regularly for his legs and his upper back muscles. Cool? So let's get started with some nice and easy warm up to build those strength in the muscles. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Manish, a professional coach and an athlete. So let's get started with a great, great warm up. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to make sure that all the joints are properly warmed up before we begin the workout. So let's get started. Please keep your feet under your hips. Bring your hands to your sides. Push your hips all the way to the left. Make sure that you get the stretch all the way here. Now rotate it all the way forward in a circle. Go all the way to the right and take it all the way back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform five circles clockwise. Two and three, glutes are getting warm. And four, just one more and cool. Now we're gonna change the direction guys. If it was clockwise, make it anti-clockwise for one and two and three. Keep breathing, keep breathing. And four, one more. And five, cool, that's great guys. We're gonna come down to the floor now. Please come down to the floor, put your knees on the floor, toes on the floor. Bring your fingertips inside, fingertips pointing inside, palms facing the floor, the forearms facing forward. Now stay in this position. I want you to move full body clockwise for five times. For one, keep moving, keep listening. Keep moving, keep listening. Two and three, make sure your wrist is getting warm here. And four, just one more. And we switch to the other side. Direction change, guys. For five, keep breathing. And four, have a look at my shoulders. And three, and one more. And relax. Good work, guys. Hips are done. Forearms are done. A little bit for your shoulders. I want you to lie down all the way, all the way on the belly. Keep your chin in. Bring your hands all the way forward. Now bring it all the way behind above the hips. Right? We're going to do it 10 times. So one, keep moving, keep breathing. And two, and three. Guys, if you're not able to reach the top of the hips, it means definitely you need a little more work for the shoulders. And four, keep moving. And five, it feels like we are swimming. <laughs> and six, just keep moving. That's three more. And seven. And just two more here, guys. All right, this is the last one. This is the last one. Ooh, perfect. Come on up, come on up, come on up. I want you to come down to the lunges position. Now, please pay attention here, all right? Everything has to be taken care of. Make sure that the front knee is 90 degree, back knee is 90 degree, right? Knee is above the ankle. From here, I want you to push your hips all the way forward. Lift your heel up, drop your heel down and come back. Do that again, five times. So push your knee all the way forward. Lift your heel up, drop your heels down and come back for two. Do that again and three. Keep moving. Now, if you pay attention here, guys, we are working on the knees, on the hip joint and your ankle as well. Just last one, last one. And here we go. Here we go. We switch, we switch. Other leg comes forward. Reset your position, 90 degree here, 90 degree here. Hands to your sides. Push the knee forward, lift your heel up. Drop your heel down and come back for one. Keep your chest nice and up, chest nice and up and keep breathing. And three, just two more guys. Now make sure when you do that, you should be able to take your knee all the way forward as compared to the toe. All right, now technically there is a distance that you need to take care of. I'll tell you very soon. Cool guys, I want you to come down to the floor now Sit back on your hips, sit back on your hips with your knee 90 degree, ankle 90 degree, thighs and upper body 90 degrees, arms a little wider, bring your feet wider, drop both your knees to left side and to the right. Let's do that again for one. 
Now, if your hips, if your glutes are properly mobilized, you should be able to touch both your knees on the floor. Check both your knees on the floor. You should be able to do that. Just a little bit more. All right. Cool, guys. Let's get started now. Stand up, please. Let's enter to the workout. 